Well, tax season is here and you are likely gathering all the information you need to file your return. It can be a tedious process, of course. So our Desmond Matthews got some tips from two tax service professionals in the area. He joins us in the studio tonight with that story. Desmond. That's right, Andrea. Before you get that big return or in some cases have to write that check, make sure that your information is in order. I talked to some tax preparers in the area today about what you need to file your return. It's the busiest time of the year for Brenda Martin at M&M Tax Services in Columbus. Her clients are ready to file their returns, hoping for a refund. Martin says there are some changes this year. One big one is what parents with dependents will see. This year we're seeing a big thing with the advanced child, child tax credit. July of this year, they started giving the children uh, $250 for the ones that was seven and older and the ones that's zero to six, $300. Parents receive those payments for six months, from July until December of 2021. Martin says parents should receive a paperwork showing the amount they owe for the child or children they claimed. But the child tax credit isn't the only filing change. The stimulus payment that you got in 2021 have to be on your tax return also. If that money is not included in there, or you know, it's going to delay your return. Martin says the IRS encourages people to file their taxes online rather than on paper and to use direct deposit instead of receiving paper checks because those checks can be lost or stolen. In West Point, Melinda Miller is in her third year of preparing tax returns, and she says that if the information filed isn't correct, then people will have to wait a while longer for their money. I have, to have true information from you because it not only reflects you, it reflects us, and if your numbers are not right, then it's going to cause a delay in your tax returns, which is going to be a big issue this year. Miller says people who work virtually will have to report their mileage and any other work-related expenses. Farmers may need to pay closer attention to their filing this year. Farmer, if you lost cattle during the ice storm last year, make sure you make note of that and how many you lost, or if you received assistance from that, they offered assistance for people that lost cattle in the ice storm last year. The ongoing pandemic is still affecting many people, so getting a good tax return could be a good way to kick off the beginning of 2022. A lot of people need this money to help them through the year. Uh, and you know, a lot of people are not working. The, I'll say a blessing getting, a, getting that tax return and getting it done right. Both Miller and Martin say that if anyone has any questions about filing to talk to a professional tax preparer because you'd rather be safe than sorry.